Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Training Tutorials. Today's tutorial we will be going over file compression, picture compression for um, basically sending large, uh, large files and large pictures through email. If you're trying to get some holiday pictures over to family, um, and you, I guess you're getting rejected by your server, or it's just too much data transferred over and it's taking forever, you probably want to compress the files so it'll be a lot easier and smoother and um, easier task for you. So um, the way we're going to be doing this is using a utility, or I'm sorry, using an application called WinRAR, and that's spelled W-I-N-R-A-R. So let's bring up our internet browser. In my case, this is Firefox. And I pretty much download everything off Google, so let's just go to Google.com, or find everything through Google. So let's go to Google.com and type in WinRAR download. And I download from CNET, that's my preferred server. So let's click. And assuming you're on a third system, this will be perfect for us. So I'll click download. We should be prompted here to save the file. You will click save. And it'll probably show up on your desktop or your downloads folder. So I've already installed mine. I'm not going to go through the ins installation with you guys, but it, it's pretty simple. Um, you'll have the executable file on your desktop. Just double click it, run the executable or run the installer. Click next, 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 and done. That's it. So we've installed WinRAR and we're ready to use it. So I have a test picture here on my desktop. There it is. And I want to send this over via email to someone else. So let's first check the size of this, um, of this file first off. And if you all see, right click it and go to properties. You can see the current size of this guy is 700 and 50 kilobytes. So, I mean, even though that is pretty tiny for a picture, but uh, say we wanted to send this over faster or make sure it goes through, uh, we'll compress this file. So we can compress this file. You want to right click on it. And you see we have some new options here since we installed WinRAR. Uh, we have add to archive, add the text picture dot RAR, compress an email, and compress to a test picture and email. I'm sorry, compress to, uh, that's the file name, and email it. So, um, normally if you wanted to email it, you would just do compress an email, and it would automatically you know, do everything for you. But I'm going to just compress it, first of all. I don't, want, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. So, I'm going to select Add to Archive. And the archive name, I'll just leave it alone, testpicture.rar. I'm going to browse for the location to make sure it saves to my desktop where you can, you know, whatever folder you want to save it in, um, the compressed file. But in my case, it's going to be the desktop. And all this pretty much stays the same. I mean, unless you want to lock the archive, you would select lock. But, um, you know, just leave it all alone. Hit OK. And now you'll see our compressed file just showed up on our desktop. If you right click this file and go to properties, you can see the new size is 2.32 kilobytes, which is you know about two kilobytes um, from the original size, which is 750 kilobytes. So it's definitely knocked out a quite a bit of space. Or the size is just dramatically dropped just by compressing it. Now um, it'll be a lot easier to send send it over to someone, fit it on a flash drive. So it works out really well that way. Now, the recipient, the person receiving this, um, it's going to show up as a .rar file. So what they want to do is they want to um, they want to install WinRAR. So you can either give them instructions on how to do that or show them this um, video on our website. But um, what they would do is once they've installed WinRAR, they would just right click on the file that they want to open and just hit extract here and there it is there's our test picture it's popped right up for us double click it there's my beautiful artwork 
So again, guys, this was a, a tutorial on file compression, picture compression. If you all have any questions, just please feel free to leave a comment. If you can contact us on YouTube, you can follow us on Twitter. Of course, on our website, we have a tech forum, www.itconflict.com. This is Eric with IT Conflict. Thanks for watching.